Hello. Yellowstone fans. Imagine stepping onto the vast, rugged plains of Montana, where the mountains pierce the sky and the Dutton Ranch sprawls endlessly, embodying the untamed spirit of the West. Now. Picture a shocking, unforeseen twist, the man at the heart of it all. John Dutton. Is gone. The mighty patriarch who held the Yellowstone Ranch together with grit, sacrifice, and an iron will, has been suddenly and tragically torn from the story, leaving his family and viewers reeling. It's a farewell no one saw coming, especially after years of thrilling, nail-biting drama surrounding the Dutton family. With Kevin Costner's unexpected departure from the series, fans have been asking, how would Yellowstone say goodbye to such a powerful character? And what could possibly fill the void he leaves behind? In the premiere of Season 5 Part 2, answers begin to unfold, revealing a tangled web of betrayal, vengeance, and heartbreak that reshapes the Dutton family forever. Buckle up. Because this season doesn't just close a chapter, it opens a Pandora's box of mysteries and emotions. Let's dive into the details of John Dutton's final moments and the shocking fallout that promises to keep us all glued to the screen until the very end. A shocking start to the final chapter of Yellowstone. After a nearly two-year hiatus, Yellowstone returned with the highly anticipated Season 5 Part 2, plunging fans into the heart of the Dutton family's most intense crisis yet. With Kevin Costner's unexpected exit from the show, questions surrounding John Dutton's fate lingered as rumors swirled about conflicts between Costner and showrunner Taylor Sheridan. The premiere of Season 5 Part 2 doesn't just address these speculations, it dives into them head-on with a plot twist that's both brutal and stunning. As fans process the loss of the show's patriarch, they're left grappling with the fallout of a death that has sent shockwaves through the entire Dutton legacy. The mystery unfolds, John Dutton's death and the family's heartbreaking discovery. The season kicks off with a gripping scene, Beth Dutton, Kelly Riley, arrives at the family mansion, only to be greeted by flashing lights, police cars, and emergency personnel. The atmosphere is tense, and viewers quickly realize that something dreadful has happened. Beth's immediate reaction underscores her protective nature and fierce loyalty to her father. She questions the officers at the scene, desperate for answers, saying, That's my father. What happened? Is this a crime scene? Her fear is palpable, signaling to viewers that John's death isn't an ordinary event. As Beth and her brother Case, Luke Grimes, enter the house, they're confronted with a horrific scene, a body lying in a pool of blood, a gun on the floor and John's face obscured. The camera work here is chilling, showing only fragments of the grim tableau without revealing Costner himself. This cinematic choice speaks volumes. As Costner was not on set for filming, the visual ambiguity heightens the drama, focusing instead on Beth and Case's raw, visceral reactions. Beth's initial shock morphs into fury, and she immediately blames her brother Jamie, Wes Bentley, uttering the words. It was Jamie. The accusation might seem impulsive, but it's grounded in seasons of betrayal and unresolved family tensions. Beth's relationship with Jamie has always been volatile, filled with animosity and betrayal. And her belief that Jamie orchestrated John's death is not just emotional, it's personal. Was it suicide or murder? The conflicting theories around John Dutton's death. Despite Beth's suspicions, the official report labels John's death a suicide. This adds an intriguing layer of mystery. As both Beth and Case struggle to accept this narrative, Beth's reaction goes beyond grief, it's outright rejection. She's adamant that Jamie is involved, and her disbelief at the suicide ruling fuels her fury. This detail plants a seed of doubt for viewers, could a man as resilient and proud as John Dutton really take his own life? In a surprising twist, the episode cuts back six weeks, introducing Sarah Atwood, Don Oliveri, a lawyer deeply entrenched in the Dutton family's conflicts who's also romantically linked to Jamie. Sarah is shown orchestrating a deadly plot with a sophisticated hitman, planning John's murder in a way that resembles a suicide. The strategic nature of this setup suggests Sarah's calculated malice and Jamie's complicity. Although Jamie's involvement remains murky, Jamie seems horrified and guilt-ridden when he learns of the plot's execution, suggesting he might not have anticipated Sarah's commitment to their plan. Jamie's role, complicit or caught in the crossfire? Jamie's reaction to John's death is a study in complexity. The moment he receives the news, his face registers shock and sorrow rather than triumph. As Montana's Attorney General, 
He delivers a public announcement of John's passing. Struggling to control his emotions. A scene that subtly hints at genuine grief. Later. When he's alone. He breaks down in tears. Seemingly overwhelmed by the enormity of what's happened. The show brilliantly leaves Jamie's guilt open to interpretation. On one hand. He's undeniably entangled in Sarah's web, on the other. His emotional breakdown implies he may not have fully endorsed or comprehended the true consequences of the plan. This duality makes Jamie one of the show's most layered characters. A man torn between loyalty to his family and the dark allure of power. Beth's conviction that Jamie is responsible for John's death fuels a personal vendetta. Adding tension as she seeks vengeance. The fallout, Beth and Case's quest for justice. Beth's devastation is profound. Yet her sorrow is overshadowed by an unyielding drive for revenge. She calls Rip, Kohlhauser. Her husband. Who's away in Texas. And delivers the heartbreaking news, baby. They f-ing killed him. My daddy. This line encapsulates the raw pain and betrayal she feels. As well as her desperate need to hold someone accountable. Her determination sets the stage for an explosive conflict within the family. As she gears up to confront Jamie head-on. Case. On the other hand. Embodies a more cautious approach. Though he doubts the suicide ruling. He isn't as quick to blame Jamie. Revealing a deeper. More contemplative aspect of his character. Case's uncertainty serves as a counterbalance to Beth's fury. Showcasing the fractured unity within the Dutton family. As the two siblings grapple with their father's death in different ways. Viewers are given a glimpse into the complicated dynamics that have both bonded and divided them over the years. The significance of John Dutton's legacy, an end and a new beginning? John Dutton's death is more than just a plot twist, it's a symbolic end to an era. For five seasons, John represented the grit and pride of Montana's ranching legacy. His character was as rugged as the Yellowstone landscape itself. And his death marks a turning point for the show. With John gone, the Dutton family faces an uncertain future. Will they stay true to his vision? Or will their personal vendettas tear them apart? Kevin Costner's portrayal of John has been nothing short of iconic. Capturing the spirit of a man bound by loyalty. Land. And tradition. His departure is a testament to the sacrifices made in the pursuit of legacy and power. Although Costner doesn't appear in these final episodes. His presence lingers. Haunting the Dutton family and fans alike. John's influence will continue to shape the family's choices. Even in his absence. Serving as both an inspiration and a curse. The future of the Dutton legacy, new spin-offs and expansions. While Yellowstone may be concluding. The Dutton saga is far from over. Sheridan's vision extends beyond the current timeline. With multiple spin-offs exploring the Dutton family's past and future. Fans looking for more Yellowstone can look forward to. 1944, an upcoming prequel that promises to delve into the struggles and triumphs of an earlier generation of Duttons. The Madison, a new series featuring Michelle Pfeiffer. Exploring the journey of a New York family who relocates to Montana. Tying into the Yellowstone world. 6,666, set on the real 4-6's ranch in Texas. This spin-off focuses on a different branch of Western culture and ranch life. These spin-offs offer a chance to expand the Yellowstone universe. Allowing fans to explore the Dutton legacy through multiple perspectives and timelines. Sheridan's commitment to storytelling ensures that the core themes of loyalty. Power and sacrifice will continue, even as the original series draws to a close. Conclusion, the legacy of Yellowstone lives on. The season 5 part 2 premiere of Yellowstone delivers a masterclass in dramatic storytelling, offering fans a roller coaster of emotions as they bid farewell to John Dutton. Costner's absence has reshaped the series, yet his character's legacy endures, casting a long shadow over the Dutton family. As Beth and Case wrestle with grief, betrayal, and the drive for justice. The stage is set for a final showdown that promises to be as epic as the Montana landscape itself. For fans watching on Paramount or waiting for the streaming release on Peacock, the allure of Yellowstone remains as powerful as ever. With each episode, the series challenges viewers to reflect on the cost of loyalty, the pain of betrayal, and the indomitable spirit of those who dare to hold on to a piece of the American West. As the Dutton family's journey reaches its conclusion, one thing is clear, the legacy of Yellowstone will live on. In our hearts. Our screens. And in every new story that emerges from Sheridan's sprawling. Ever-expanding universe.